he comes across as somebody who was once so deeply rejected by women and he's almost got like this such a power trip from now having them at the palm of his hand so I can sense that mm. there was a lot of rejection and now that he's flipped it but he's done the good thing where he's reflected and he's now teaching everybody the tricks to it um, so I do feel like he is deeply uh, scarred from what women did to him growing up and now he's recovered and he's on the other end but I don't think there's anything wrong in what he says in, uh, particularly I think even if it's a bit wild don't we all have a few wild views don't we all say a few stupid things he's just got more power and privilege with it but um i do think like to each their own so being in um you know from a muslim background yeah. um you know you 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 when i told you i had a, a sip of alcohol you threw a haram my way <laughs> all right i'm still reeling from that um tate has sort of been infused <laughs> in that in that world he's been in eastern yeah. Europe and has a uh, Middle Eastern influence of some capacity. Uh, you're saying that you're used to men like this. This is how men yeah. like that in that the world almost operate and think. So it's yeah. not uncommon to you. It is very common to me. I, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is very common to me. I am very used to men being uh, very aware of gender differences and you know completely different views for men and women but come with that is the flip side where they you know they do provide for you in every area of your life mm -hmm. you don't have to ever you know fumble in your bag and fake pay or anything like that so as much as it can be negative there's so many positives in it as well I've never paid a bill in my life with my parents or my dad or my brother or anything like that never never even need to buy bread because it just wouldn't happen in our home and if dad gives you money you wouldn't even think to pay him back in a million years so yeah. you, your man might do that and so there's there's good and bad to it uh, he's definitely been influenced by i think a culture that's similar to mine and it shows but infused with the fun of the western world where he's got webcam girls and all this stuff so he's kind of picked the best of both and now lives his best life yeah i, I can i just stay right there on the fact that you've never had to pay for anything you're not even a loaf of bread is that no. because you're a pretty woman or is that because you know that's how society works because I, I always say this, and you know, yeah. this, this, this is Adam's cancel moment. There's nothing yeah. worse than being an unattractive woman. Okay. Yeah. Meaning, if you're unattractive, okay, and I mean that in two parts outside, but also inside. Like, there's yeah. pretty women that I know that are very unattractive on the inside. Yeah. And then mm. there's not so attractive women on the outside that are very pretty on the inside. But I'm talking yeah. about unattractive on the inside and on the outside. There's nothing worse. And yeah. nobody's going to pay for them. Nobody's going to treat them well. That's all, They're almost like lower than um, an incel kind of a guy. Because that guy can at least fucking improve and make money. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very hard for an ugly girl to kind of figure it out. Um, yeah. So you said I agree that you with that. I would definitely agree with that because I see a lot of men online saying women have it so easy, women mm -hmm. have it so easy. But no, a majority of women go through life feeling invisible as well and competing with very visible women. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing they can do about it. So I would say that it's not that e I think you know obviously i can't i only know my own experience and i can't really speak for anybody else but i know if i was really overweight for instance or really underweight or you know just it wasn't society's version of what may be some, somewhat attractive my life would be very very different i wouldn't have this mentality where uh i'll go to all the nice restaurants and i don't have to worry about it or i can go and take a year off work and i don't have to worry about it i don't think i would have that mentality if i'm being honest so I just think that it's way harder being an unattractive girl because then you're surrounded with incredibly attractive women all the time and you're competing with them, especially on Instagram, whereas you don't see attractive men on Instagram. You don't really see that constant reminder that you can't compete as a man. But with women, you're reminded of it all the time. So I think that they have it far worse than mm. men. So you agree with me. All right. We're on the same yeah. page here. All right. Last couple. And then we'll um, give you a goodbye. Um <laughs> The biggest, possibly the biggest name in the news as far as relationships goes this past year has been Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell? Make some sense. Why wouldn't Will just say, look, you've emasculated me. You've slept with this other rapper, my our son's friend. 
you know, you've, you've, you've basically caused me to embarrass myself and do actions that I wouldn't otherwise do. I used to be the coolest dude in the world, freaking Fresh Prince, bro. <laughs> and, you know, and me and DJ Jazzy Jeff are doing our thing. I'm Men in Black, Independence Day, Wild West, the whole thing, I'll, everything. And now I'm yeah. like a, 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 a shell of my former self. And I think yeah. that Jada has uh, a role to play in this. What Absolutely. say you, Sadia? Mm -hmm. I would just imagine it's become such a strong trauma bond. And what trauma bond basically means is that you become attached to your abuser. The person that abuses you, your own identity. So you believe that what they tell you is the truth and what you, what they, how they value you is your actual value. So what it comes across to me as she's convinced him that all of her behavior has a res is a result of his inadequacies and he's not really man enough for her. And as a result, he feels like he's not man enough for anybody. Mm. And this, there's safety in this chaos. There's comfort in the chaos that she's given him rather than facing the real world and realizing he might think that he stands no chance with women because of the way she may have made him feel. If your partner cheats on you continuously, puts you down publicly, there's no way you're going to go into the dating world with confidence. So he's lost his confidence. He probably makes a lot of excuses for her in his mind. And he probably believes at some stage their relationship will go back to or will become something positive. So I think she's got a hold on him where he's genuinely traumatized and he's almost a, uh, completely unaware of his worth because he's got so much worth but he doesn't act like it at all and that's where where and i was talking about boundaries you can be the best man in the world if you've got no boundaries with a woman this is how she'll treat ah, you Ah, the boundaries ladies yes. and gentlemen he just says say no jada no. this ain't happening She'd be like, oh, i love you man because you know there, there's rumors out there that she's still in love with tupac all right last <laughs> um relationship that i want you to kind of you know, put on your, you've had it on the whole time, but now I really need you to put on your psychology hat, your psychiatrist hat, mm -hmm. your, your doctorate hat, your diagnosis <laughs> hat, put it all on. And I want to make sense of the richest man in the world. His name mm -hmm. is Elon Musk. You probably have heard oh. of this young man. Yeah. Um, he's been married, divorced. He dated Amber Heard. He moved on from her. She yeah. did her whole thing with Johnny Depp, trial of the year, yada, yada, yada. This last relationship was with um, a singer called Grimes, who is a literal human alien, the things that she's done to her body. <laughs>